Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add time delayed elements to your ClickFunnels 2.0 pages. So let's go ahead and get into it. So let's say that you have a webinar or a page that you want some element to show up after the individual has been on the page for a set period of time. So for example, with this webinar, I want people to have watched, you know, maybe 20 minutes of my webinar before my buy my stuff button pops up on the page. And so that's what we're gonna go ahead and set up in this video. So first things first, we need to go ahead and hide this particular button. So we'll click on settings here. And then we want to go ahead and change the visibility to hide on all devices. So click that option. And then we need to add a countdown element. So we'll add count countdown right here. And then we can go ahead and click on the countdown element and open up our settings. We need to go ahead and change the timer type to evergreen. And then time resets, we want it to reset on page load. And then we can go ahead and set our time. And you can see there's hours, minutes, and seconds. Just for the sake of time, I'm just gonna do a 10 second timer. But of course, if I wanted to do a 20 minute timer, then I could go ahead and select that option. Expire action. So once these 10 seconds are up, I wanna show my button. So I'm gonna make sure my expire action is show hide content. And I wanna go ahead and show my button. And alternatively, I could hide content as well, but I don't want to do that. I wanna show my button. And then we have revisit action. So how do you want this countdown to treat people that revisit the page? So you could have it auto reset the timer and that means if they refresh the page, then that's gonna refresh the timer and they're gonna to have to wait 10 seconds for the button to pop back up. But there's another option here, like auto expires in X days. So maybe you set this to one. So then the next day they come to this page, they wouldn't have to wait those 10 seconds again for the button to show up. Or you could also do never expires, in which case once the button pops up for the individual, the button will always be there. Unless they clear their cookies and all that type of stuff. So typically I usually do never expire. So that way if they come back to the page, the button will be there and they can go ahead and buy the stuff. And the final thing we wanna go ahead and do is hide our countdown as well. We don't want people seeing that. So they should just see, enjoy this webinar, have the webinar video, and then after 10 seconds, that button should pop up. So we're gonna go ahead and click on save. And then I'm gonna go ahead and preview this page. And so enjoy this webinar. Here's the webinar video. And we're gonna wait our 10 seconds and hopefully a button pops up right down here. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna, there it is. So the button popped right up and now somebody could go buy my stuff. And then if they refresh the page, the button should be there because we set the expiration to never expire. So every time they come to this page, they should automatically see the button because they've already waited that 10 second period. And so one last thing, let's say that you wanna change something, like it's hard to, you know, you can't click the elements that are hidden, right? But if you come up here to layout, you can see your elements. So you can see your countdown and your button right here. So you could go ahead and click on it. And then you could go ahead and make it visible, make your changes to it rehide it or whatever else it might be that you want to do. So I just wanted to show you that real quick, how you could get those buttons back up and the countdown timer back up. So you could go ahead and make changes if you need to do that. And again, that's through the layout option right up here. And so that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate it. the likes, comments, subscribes, and or head over to crazyeyemarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.